Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom at the end of a very, very long week where I'm getting the chance to return to Lucifer. This is season three, episode nine. This one's called The Cinnamon. So are we actually now going to get to the Cinnamon? <laughs> I can't say it. Cinnamon storyline of the season. Do I care? Well, I want to care. Ah, remains to be seen. We'll just have to watch and find out, won't we? But the big break this week in video releases, in case you were wondering, is after a year or so ago, ooh, when I watched RRR, a lot of my subscribers, thank you all who came from India. So every once in a while, I'll try to dip my toes into the Indian Bollywood, Tollywood film scene, because there are some excellent, excellent movies out there I would not have known if it wasn't for you all and this channel. So this week I watched Jawan, and if you, I think it's pronounced Jawan, um, it's on Netflix here in the US. If you like action-y adventure, Hobbs and Shaw-y, marvel -y, fight, fight, interesting storylines, check it out, you'll probably have a good time. But that's what I was doing this week, because those movies, reactions take forever. But now we're back for Lucifer, and I don't remember where we left off. Linda was struggling with her feelings of guilt for not feeling guilty about her ex-husband's death. And Lucifer was getting yet another lesson on being yourself, being true to yourself. People will love you and appreciate you and respect you for living your truth. I think that was the message we were getting. And now on to the cinnamon. Okay, so I am ready to go. I busted out a bottle of a menage a trois because it's been a bit since I had a nice glass of wine. I also have my water. Let me know what you're drinking. I always like to find out. You all drink some interesting things. Um, and if you're watching me on Patreon, again, thank you. I would love to see you there. We're going to sync up your copy and my copy together and have a good time. So, okay, let's get to it. I enjoy nightclubs. I, I've always been a nightclub girl. I don't, I just like being in the crowd with the people and just feeling the music and just getting lost. Is the uh, big guy in tonight? Oh, is this Lux? This is a one. I don't, <laughs> nice guy I don't, discount. I think we haven't seen the, oh, the like entrance to Lux in a Make while. It quick, kid. Nice guy discount. <laughs> Lucifer is wheeling and dealing. I hear you're the guy to talk to. I hear you, you help people. <laughs> well, like Ellen, <laughs> I think not. <laughs> now, grant people favors when it suits me. Operative phrasing, when it suits him. You hear me out, Mr. Morningstar. You won't regret it. All right, give us a man. What about uh, missing ma'am on the other side? Call me Lucifer. Not Victoria. She's fine. <laughs> so how do you angels work? And your other brother, Uriel, could predict patterns. So why is your gift desire? Ah, oh, yes. Good question, Linda. Good question. When I first went to angel school, they uh, sorted us into different houses for different powers. There's a school for angels? No. <laughs> they took an aptitude test is what they did. Look, if you must know, we were all born this way. But what came first? Do mm -hmm. angels' powers shape their personalities, or are your personalities shaped by your powers? Linda's so smart. That is an excellent question. That my powers are perfect for me. Desire is the ultimate expression of free will. I help people do whatever or whomever they want. But that's it? There isn't more to it? He's back because he's the sinner man. Is that why he's back? Looks like you're you're healing really well. It still hurts like a son of a bitch. How much does a son of a bitch hurt? <laughs> oh, seriously, hmm. It's like some sort of poor man's penthouse, isn't it? Oh, he 
this young Joey. Joey, right? Pigog Pigogly. I've been here. Who would have done this? Wait. He's in the same clothes, isn't he? You see, I did this young man a favor. Maybe it wasn't that good of a favor. <gasps> Where's his legs? Oh, his. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Well, his name's Joey. Joey Pelleggi. He came to me a few months ago and asked me for a favor. Oh, that's been a few months. You're still doing okay. It? <laughs> I never stopped granting favors, Detective. Well, his desire was to become the new godfather of. Oh, good God. You introduce him to the mob? I may have Why? done an internship. An internship to the mob. Joey's legs were broken post mortem. Why? What's the killer trying to say? Sending a message? Well, it may be a commentary on the job that I got for him. As a runner for the mob. So this kid came to him and said, what do you desire? Okay, Lucifer said, what do you desire? And the kid said, I want to be in the mob. Head the mob, eventually. And Lucifer went, okay. Why is your power slowing down time? Maybe my father wanted me to be a better emissary, someone who could fix things on Earth and stay invisible. It just seems lonely to visit humanity without ever really getting to know anyone. I guess I was never told to avoid humanity. It just seemed easier. Mm hmm. Hey, stranger. Hey, stranger. Oh, I missed you too, girl. What are you guys up to? <laughs> okay, Linda was just catching me up on how she, <laughs> on how she believed in angel school. Oh, you guys catch up, huh? Oh, yeah, we are. We've been we've been hanging out. Yeah, we're oh. friends. Oh, that was a tone Maze had a little wee bit. Jealousy, <laughs> Just a little. Charlotte, what are you doing here? A little early for opposing counsel. Are you defending someone? No. Nope. <laughs> I quit my job. Wait, wasn't, didn't she own? Didn't she own the, the agent? Let's see. I'm on your side now. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Did you know about this? It's not a clear. <laughs> I love how he didn't move his lips at all. And maybe Joey was skimming off the top. Ooh. Okay, well, um, his bosses wouldn't like that. They would execute Joey to send a message to the whole organization. Whoever brought him in would do the deed. <gasps> didn't Lucifer bring him in? Who did you introduce Joey to? Frankie the Knife, sweet chap. Is it weird for us to be friends? No. No. Although they do have good chemistry, but I enjoy them can't being a, friends. Can a woman be friends with a with a brilliant, tall, gorgeous angel? Well, can an angel be friends with a amazing, accomplished, beautiful, and passionate woman? Chemistry, but I like them as friends. Ooh. I kind of need them to be friends, though. This is gonna muck stuff up. Um, I can't. Okay. Okay. This is a fake out. Fake out! Ugh! I want them to just be friends. Just, just so a really good man-woman-friend relationship, please. Well, I can help. I know him. I defended him once. Fine, Charlotte, just keep a low profile. You won't even know I'm there. Please. Please. Mr. Ferrante, I'm Detective Decker. Frankie Ferrante? I... Frankie Ferrante. Man, the guys are sure gonna be jealous when they hear you're defending me. Mm. I'm the prosecutor. I work with the cops now against you. What's the world coming to? Is it true you're the head of the Ferrante mob family? Ooh. Well, come on, answer her. You do not need to answer that. I don't. But it would be helpful if you did. Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> what is it you really want? 
I want to find out who killed little Joey. And I want payback. So he knew Joey. If there's anything I can do to help with Joey's killer, you let me know, because I would love to bring him in. That means you'll kill him. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Sean. Double tap yeah. to the chest, just like Joey. And then hung. Interesting. I did her a favor two years ago. This isn't just a murder, it's another message. But to him. For me. The noose was made out of her own hair. Ah! How twisted is that? Twisted! If these messages really are for you, I'm worried. Because he's given a lot of messages. The real reason I started granting favors again was because of the cinnamon. Okay, well, I'm gonna need proof that this guy is real. Oh, he is real. And very dangerous. <laughs> The thing is, this does not seem like the Sinner Man. He kills for power and influence. Taunting a nightclub owner seems petty and small. It's not just any, any nightclub owner. I couldn't see who it was. Brother, I'm about to tear the criminal underworld apart <gasps> looking for this. Oh, I was like, oh, that's maze. Okay. Oh, also, it's Lucifer. Oh, telemarketers, they've been hounding me all day. This won't take long. Hello. Hello, Mr. Morningstar. I'm not interested, sir. So really? And I thought you were looking for me. You got the Sinner Man's DNA profile. How? How? Frida, total fighter. She struggled Ooh. with the killer and scratched him and found blood and skin cells. That weren't hers, I'm gonna guess. I did some more digging and found a perfect match. Is that Lucifer? from an old Sinner Man case in Chicago. Decker, did you hear what I said? He's lifting a table when he's been shot. Okay, he healed well. <laughs> but apparently it no longer hurts like a son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna call Lucifer. Awesome work. Hey, Lucifer. For half a second, I started to fall into the spiral of like trying to solve this case. And I, I need to not do that. Don't I? Where's Lucifer? You need help? I mean, I'm free. Oh, um, oh, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Is he gonna stumble upon another body by himself this time? You know, it's quite the party foul when the host doesn't even show up. In here. Lucifer, you were jumped once. Maybe you should be a little Extra cautious, just a smidge. That is, if you're man enough to face me. Is there a window you can fly out of, voice. Lucifer? Oh, he trapped him with the speaker in the room. <laughs> just as good. TV's just as good. Likewise. That's a Max Headroom. That's not his real face, is it? <laughs> and unfortunately for you, that's a foot of reinforced steel. Takes a little extra to hold the devil. <laughs> this place has been abandoned for at least 10 years. Maybe they'll knock it down with you still in it. So I take it he doesn't have cell phone reception then. Take your sunglasses off. Hmm? Then we can have a proper conversation. Can his powers work through the television? Now this, when I find out what someone truly desires, I find out their greatest weakness. And that's not a parlor trick, Cinnamon. It's power. Mm. Well, he knows your weakness there, Lucifer. Can you stick to the script and say exactly what I told you to say? Well, of course, I'm not an idiot. Our prime suspect is a uh, criminal who calls himself the Sinner Man. Does it ring a bell? I think it may. <laughs> <laughs> if you help us out, I promise it'll be worth your while. Charlie. How? Sorry, ladies. Wish I could help. Cut the crap, Frankie. Give us something. Charlotte. Thank you, Mr. Fronte, for your time. I'm sorry, Detective Decker. I know I went off script a bit, but... I'm thinking Chloe was planning on that. 
Mobsters like that, they don't talk to the cops. Then what was the point of that? How does this get us any closer to the Sinner Man? Frankie obviously cares about Joey. He's gonna wanna get revenge. I think he's gonna find the Sinner Man on his own. And end up dead. He'll end up dead. You expected me to fail, didn't you? Look, I wanna believe that this change of heart is for real. But you're gonna have to earn that trust back, okay? Still working that Ferrante angle? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, it's turned into a stakeout, but why? Because I brought food. He's stalking her? On a motorcycle? He brought takeout on a motorcycle. I did not look fast enough to see if he had saddlebags. <sighs> Lucifer! Maze. Maze. That was handy. Thanks, Maze. Do not walk into the room. I tracked you down because I have a bone to pick with you. What? I asked you to talk. Don't and you walk me off into the and room. Hide in a freezer. Hang on, you were trapped. What? Obviously. Oh, God's sake! Say it. God's sake. <laughs> What's on your mind, Mace? Did you know that Linda and Amanda Deal are a thing? Then you're gonna deal a day one, huh? <laughs> well, I saw them in her office. Talking. Right, you do realize that talking in her office is literally Linda's job? <laughs> and if Maze had not put the thought into their head, it may not have happened. So our old flame's having a fling, I don't care, why should you? Because she cares. Unless, unless you're still hot for Angel. No. No? No. Oh. Oh, I, but she's just my best friend, and he's my ex. I've been gone for too long, okay? I just need to know what the hell is going on. And what would you do if you knew? Excellent question. Ask yourself what you truly desire. Be honest, otherwise there's no point. What a thought. Let's see if I can remember it later. Mace. Oh, don't just leave. <laughs> Thanks, Lucifer. Great talk. Glad I could help. Gotta go. Out with it, Decker. I either have food in my teeth or you have something you want to say to me. Why is this case so important to you? Well, we're going to get this backstory. Maybe. The Sinner Man killed my brother. Brother. Not who I was expecting. Wife, girlfriend, child. Yes, brother. No. I need to find him and make him pay for what he did. So why was the brother? The anniversary of my father's death is coming up. And uh, he was killed on duty. That seems like a lifetime ago when we had those episodes. Think about what you really want. What do you desire? Don't do anything you're gonna regret. I guess I have to give you that person all day now. <laughs> you were right. The center man is behind this. You don't say. I just got out of cold storage after being grabbed by him again. Would you believe he wore a sweater vest? His greatest crime yet. That's not a source. That's him. Let's go. Wait, detective? Detective! <gasps> Who's shooting whom? <gasps> He's killing all of them! Drop the weapon! Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, okay! I'm on him! Cut him off! Chloe, wait! Do I think this man is the Sinner Man? Mm, no, I think he's he's a plant-ish. You know what I mean. Accomplice. Fall guy. Corners and doors, Chloe. Corners and doors. Do what you gotta do. Let me help you. 
he's got to kill him because he knows the truth. Mm. You're under arrest. Let's go. I don't think this man's going to make it to the jail alive. Or at least not see the morning. I want to talk to him. Lucifer. Don't worry. You'll get your chance. No, you won't. Who gave him the pen? No! Linda, are you there? What's up? She's very flesh. Are you alone? No! But it was weird seeing you and Amenadale so chummy. I came to tell you how I feel. Yes, please. How's this gonna go? It makes me feel left out. Okay. So I don't want you two getting together, if that's possible. Because you feel left out because why? You have nothing to worry about. Ugh, I figured you wouldn't want my sloppy seconds anyway. <laughs> and you know me. I was all over that angel. I went in deep. Used every tool in that Swiss army knife. I touched nerves that he never knew he had. Thanks, Faze. <laughs> You're the best, Linda. Because they wouldn't be friends with her anymore? She thinks is gonna happen? What does that mean? Charlotte, why so you sad? You okay in there? I'm fine. Thank you. She went back to the precinct and not home. Interesting. Interesting choice, Charlotte. The one place that I wouldn't be disturbed. Well, yeah, why is he in the bathroom? You don't seem fine. Why is Dan in the women's room? I'm not helping anyone. I just keep screwing things up. I was really good at being the old me. But I know I need to make a change. I suck. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. Unfortunately. It's hard to be one of the good guys. Look, I screw up too. <laughs> I've made plenty of mistakes, believe me. But I don't quit. At least you're trying, right? Thank you, Dan. Don't mention it. She was crying in the men's room. <laughs> oh yeah. What happens in the shadows? No one has to know. The truth is in the gallows. It you put her in the friend spot. I think he's in that room. Oh, he is there. I don't know if you remember, but I made you a promise to look into your eyes and find out what the great cinnamon desires. Did he poke out his eyes? Did he poke out his eyes? Look into my eyes! There's something in the shadow. That's a bit extreme, sir. <laughs> Why have thoughts? <laughs> I've seen people get arrested. I know they are searched upon searched upon searched. That pen should not have gotten through. But of course, we know those police officers ran on it. At least one, if not more. I know, I know. So the thought I had earlier and my biggest takeaway from this episode, because I feel like we were just now entering a new playing field. So we're just establishing things. We're just establishing things. My thought I had was, has Lucifer or would it work if he looked at himself in a mirror and said, what do you desire? 
And would he be truthful with himself? The fact that he thought he can look at the guy through the television? Not even through the camera, but through the television while the guy's looking. But it did give me the idea of the mirror and Lucifer asking, what does he desire? I would be intrigued to find that out. Probably more intrigued than this whole Sinner Man storyline. So Maze's reason for Amenadiel and Linda not to get together is because she would feel left out. So it wasn't that she still had feelings for Amenadiel. She just didn't want to be friend while they were a couple. I don't think that's a good enough reason, Maze. Personally, me, not a good enough reason. But on the other hand, as far as storytelling things, I would rather see Linda and Amenadale just be friends and be good friends and good supportive people to each other. I don't know if I want them in a romantic relationship. Although the last episode when they're on the beach and he was helping her through her things and whatnot, I sensed the chemistry, but I didn't want to acknowledge it because I didn't want it to happen. I just want to see men and women be really good friends on a television series because I think that's a, an important relationship to show. And I still think the lieutenant's the sinner man. And Mr. Stabby Stabby <laughs> is a front. This is episode nine. We've got like, what, 11 episodes to go this season? And when we get closer to the end, I will ask, not yet, don't tell me yet, hold hold the keys, which order I should watch the next episodes. <laughs> but not now, because I want it's at least another month before I get there. There you go, my thoughts on episode nine. I know they're scintillating, scintillating. <laughs> but thank you so much for being with me. I do appreciate you all, appreciate you all being here with me on this journey as we sit and drink and laugh and enjoy ourselves so please do not be strangers if you haven't already i would appreciate a subscribe or a thumbs up or just a hey how's it going comment on there and until next time take care of yourselves this is your reminder to go eat something stretch your bodies and then come back and watch the next video in the queue seriously though stretch your body and then come back <laughs> thanks again y'all and until next time